Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps projects. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about how to upload any artifact. Uh, we'll be talking about a Java artifact to a Nexus repository. That's where we, we are going to talk about. So if you're new over here, kindly subscribe to the channel because I create content for DevOps and cloud related stuff. And without further ado, let's directly dive into the demo part. Okay, so I hope you are following this and uh, Jenkins, you have already installed. Let's go to manage Jenkins. After that, you have to go to configure system. Now, if you remember, we have installed a plugin known as build timestamp. So you just have to look for that. So this is the one. Okay. So any time zone you want to select, you can select any time zone. That's totally upon you and you can change the pattern if you want. So what we'll do is we'll remove the second part. We'll keep it like this. Uh, we'll remove the air. I just want the last two digits. After that hyphen is fine, month is fine, day is fine. And then I don't want to keep spaces. So I'll just use underscore over here, HHMM, perfect. So I think that should be it. I'll just use it like this. This should be our timestamp. Okay, that's all, apply and save. Okay, now you already have this installed and this is up and running. So we created this V profile, central repo, group repo and repo. So we are going to upload it over here. And if you Google the Nexus artifact uploader, you will find a link which is used by almost everyone all over the world. There is a GitHub link for that. Okay, so I'll just show you. This is the one. So if you'll right click and open it over here, you would find this example. So I'll just show you. There is a read MD file over here, this one. Just click on that. So there is an example of a DSL domain specific language and then there is an example of Jenkins pipeline example. So we are going to copy this code, make the changes and do the stuff, all right? Okay, so I've copied the code from there and did the necessary changes. So upload artifact is the name of the stage. We do, you just have to enter one more stage and then steps is Nexus artifact uploader. So this is how you have to do it. And then inside this Nexus version, which is three, protocol should be HTTP one, this Nexus underscore IP for the URL Nexus port, it is coming from here. It is coming from here. And if you're using an EC2 instance or any other instance, just make a private IP. Do not give the public IP because they are all in the same network. This is the port. And after that, this is version environment build ID that we are going to take the timestamp we are going to take release repo we already have. And uh, let me change release repo if we have anything. I think this is the release repo that we have. It is going to take it from here Nexus login. And this Nexus login is coming from here. Let me just quickly show you. So if you go to manage Jenkins, go to manage credentials, you can see this Nexus login over here, right? So it is coming from there. So that's all. And uh, after that, the artifact vpro app, target and there is a there would be a war file. Okay, so let's just check in and see if everything works all right. Okay, commit, sync the changes, it is going to ask me whether to push it or not. This is done. Perfect. I'll go back over here onto my dashboard. I'll just quickly run this pipeline and let's see if everything works all right or not. Build now. For the timing, I have removed this step, sonar analysis. So you won't find this step in the next one. And I've commented the code. So don't worry about that. So let it happen. It can take up to a few minutes. Just fast forward the video and I think every sh everything should be all right. upload artifact field. Okay, so let us go there and understand what exactly is happening. So I think this was proper. Let's go over here. Where did it fail? It says status 400 repository version policy snapshot does not allow version this, 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 this. Okay, so I think we have to make a few changes. Let's do that. Okay, the issue could be related to repositories. So go to repositories over there. And then I think we cannot rename it. Let's create a one. 
which should be so the one which we want is let me quickly check it so the one which we want is the hosted one okay so let's create a new one and see whether everything works fine or not repositories create new repository go to hosted i'll change the name this time i'll give vprofile release the type is release because i think that's what we messed up i guess validates artifact metadata path this is fine this is fine i think everything should be fine create the repository so the repository is created with the name of release and uh, you can delete it later i don't think you can rename it or something that's not needed okay perfect uh, so let's go back to the code and change the name over here from v profile repo to v profile release okay changing the name of repo i think that should be it perfect let's commit it sync it the code went over there okay let's see if we can work it out now say pipeline i'll just build now and let's see if this passes this time or not okay i'll just fast forward the video okay perfect so this has passed so the only difference was what we were doing is we were writing release we were not writing release in this and in the properties we have selected the release so i have created a new repository over here which you can already see and if i just refresh it you can see that this is the hosted one which i just created right now okay so uh, the older one you can delete because we do not need it anymore you can just delete it okay so that's what it is now if you want to see the artifact go over here go in this logs here see you can see this war file has been uh, downloaded over here but if you want to see it through here what you can do is go to repositories i'll go to home i'll go to home okay and i'll go to browse so this is the one which we did and you can see this the component has been uploaded so qa is the folder name which you created over here which is this uh, let's go down which is this if you want to change it you can change it okay let's do some changes let's make it dev and instead of underscore let give it this way okay and testing dev is what we can do commit sync the changes the changes are here now let's go back over here i'll do the changes in the timestamp as well so go to timestamp configure system control f timestamp so if this is underscore i've already tried this you can do it like this or if you want to change you can change it let's just save it and run this pipeline again build now we'll go over here and you can see it has started the build let's go to browse back and then come over here so let it happen again uh, we can test this scenario whether it works or not test check style analysis and then upload artifact it will move on to that so let it happen perfect it has been completed now if you want to go inside logs you can just click through this and you would be able to download it but uh, as of now do not do that i'll go to v profile release and you can see there is dev now and qa was the previous one and you can see the underscore is not over here it's hyphen and then inside that v profile app both are the artifacts that we have over here all right so this is something that i wanted to explain now in after 31 you can see hyph uh, hyphen in this and underscore in this and this is something that i wanted to explain so this is how you upload an artifact to a to a repository all right uh, so i hope you folks have understood this part if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one